Have you ever wondered what it's like to be swimming in wealth in Israel? Israel tycoons are rocketing the Forbes billionaire list, riding the wave of a tech startup boom that has even eluded big shots like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. What do they do with all that money? From swanky mansions to divine five-star dining, being an Israeli billionaire is a year-round VIP experience. Let's take a look. Patrick Durahi have you heard of the historic building of 9 Yehuda Halevi Street in the heart of Tel Aviv? Well, Patrick Darahi made headlines for his acquisition of this architectural gem, steeped in a rich history that dates back to the 1920s. This landmark, purchased from Shimon Mizrahi, the owner of the Maccabi Tel Aviv basketball team, stands as a testament to Tel Aviv's rapid growth and urban development during that era. Designed by the visionary architect Yehuda Megidovich, this building was initially conceived as a one floor house but quickly became a symbol of architectural excellence in the region. Its neoclassical style, constructed with sandstone, showcased unique design elements that captured the imagination of all who laid eyes upon it. Over the years, the building underwent several transformations, with additional floors added in the 1930s and 1950s, each carefully preserving its unique character. Beyond its architectural splendor, this building has a remarkable history of diverse uses. From serving as a residential villa to transforming into a private maternity hospital and later becoming a military hospital in 1948, it has adapted to the changing needs of the city. In the 1960s, it functioned as an educational building and in 1998, it became the headquarters of Bank Leumi's Workers' Committee. Although not included in the UNESCO White City Bauhaus Preservation Area, it's recognized as a building for electric preservation in Tel Aviv's conservation plan. This designation ensures that the building cannot be demolished and strict restrictions apply to its preservation. Patrick Drahi, the billionaire businessman and controlling shareholders of the international telecom group Altis, was drawn to the building's historical value and unique characteristics. Real estate experts know the significance of this acquisition, emphasizing the personal interest and historical importance that led Drahi to invest in this distinctive property in the heart of Tel Aviv. Patrick Drahi's accusation of the building has stirred excitement among real estate enthusiasts. The transaction, valued at an impressive 110 million NIS underscores Drahi's keen interest in unique properties with historical significance. This addition enhances his already remarkable property portfolio. Drahi's passion for preserving architectural gems is evident in his meticulous approach to renovation and restoration. His commitment to maintaining the integrity of these historic structures is commendable, breathing new life into buildings while honoring their past. The building at 9 Yehuda Halevi Street holds immense potential for future use, sparking speculations about whether it will revert to its original residential purpose or be repurposed for commercial or cultural endeavors. While the building is not strictly designed for preservation, it is protected by certain restrictions, ensuring its unique character is maintained. Dry's acquisition expands its property portfolio of unique buildings for preservation on this iconic street. Beyond real estate, Patrick Drahi has left his mark in the telecommunication industry as the controlling shareholder of Altis. His global telecom empire includes the notable acquisition of the Israeli telecom company Hot. In 2019, Drahi ventured into the art and heritage world with the acquisition of the renowned Sotheby's auction house for a staggering $3.7 billion. While Drahi's real estate ventures showcase his commitment to preserving history, his influence extends to various industries. Roman Abramovich I wonder what kind of homes a billionaire like Roman Abramovich calls his own. Brace also for a glimpse into the extravagant world of his renowned businessman and former Chelsea football club owner. Let's start with the magnificent mansions nestled behind Kensington Palace. Abramovich's 15-bedroom palace, purchased for £90 million in 2009, stands tall as a testament to his wealth and refined taste. Located on the prestigious Billionaire's Row, this residence has become a symbol of luxury and exclusivity. Over the years, its value has soared, with estimates now reaching at least £18.4 million. But that's not all. Abramovich has grand plans to expand the mansion to a staggering 20,000 square feet, adding more luxury to this already impressive board. Formerly the Russian embassy, this grand building has undergone a remarkable transformation into a residence fit for royalty. Get ready for a new indoor pool, expanded dining and play areas, and a wide-end terrace offering breathtaking views of the manicured gardens. Abramovich's London mansion is not just a home, it's a living masterpiece. Abramovich has also a three-story penthouse at the exclusive Chelsea waterfront tower block. 
priced at £30 million, this penthouse offers an unparalleled living experience. Perched high above the city in the heart of Chelsea, Abramovich's residence spans a staggering 6,000 square feet. From the 35th to 37th floors, floor-to-ceiling windows provide a 360 view of the cityscape, giving Abramovich a front-row seat to the vibrant energy of London. Let's venture into the opulent interior of Roman Abramovich's penthouse. Designed with no expense pad, every inch of this space exudes luxury, from the finest materials to state-of-the-art technology. Ascending to the top floor reveals a private rooftop terrace. Yet luxury comes at a cost. Residents of the Chelsea Waterfront Tower Block must pay an annual fee of £85,000 for underground parking. But for Abramovich, it's a small price for the unmatched convenience and exclusivity. Now let's journey to the sun-soaked shores of the Côte d'Azur, where Abramovich's villa stands as a testament to elegant and refinement. Set on Cap the Antibes, this detached villa, once a summer retreat for the Duke of Windsor, boasts a storied past of romance and grandeur. Purchased in 2001 and transformed into a masterpiece with an estimated investment of up to 180 million euros, the villa is a heaven of luxury. With a rooftop pool offering panoramic views of the Mediterranean Sea, a gym and a cinema in the basement, Abramovich's French Riviera retreat is a paradise of endless entertainment. Despite tax dispute with the French authorities, the villa's substantial value remains estimated to be around 100 million euros. Next in the snowy peaks of Aspen, Abramovich's mountain retreat awaits. A true testament to his love for nature and luxury, this 200-acre property on Wildcat Ridge is a secluded heaven amidst the Rocky Mountains. The retreat, with its 11 bedrooms and 12 baths, seamlessly blends interior and exterior through floor-to-ceiling glass, offering breathtaking views. What sets this alpine paradise apart is its eco-friendliness, operating without fossil fuels thanks to geothermal wells and a generator. Custom furniture, upholstered in mink, adds luxury to the spacious 14,000 square foot interior. This retreat isn't just about relaxation, it's a place for Abramovich to indulge his passion for skiing with additional 5.6 million pound ski lodge, ensuring easy access to the slopes. Tucked away amidst dense forests, Abramovich's Aspen Estate Heaven offers unparalleled privacy and its seclusion, providing Abramovich and his guests a true escape from the outside world. Access to a private beach further elevates the allure of this remarkable property. With its location, eco-friendly features and impeccable design, this residence becomes a sanctuary of luxury and natural beauty, a haven for relaxation and rejuvenation. The St. Bart's Estate, known as the Governor Bay Estate, is an opulent property valued at £54 million. This sprawling 70-acre site, formerly owned by David Rockefeller, is nestled in dense forest and boasts access to a private beach and the crystal blue waters of the Caribbean Ocean. Designed to resemble a Balinese village, the estate features four bungalows, each equipped with nine bathrooms, providing ample space for entertaining guests. The property stretches along 1,000 feet of a pristine beach, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding natural beauty. The main suite, complete with a bay view and and wraparound veranda includes luxurious amenities such as an outdoor shower for two and a private swimming pool. The estate also features a massive kitchen and a main entertainment complex known as the Lizard Lounge. The shared pool is equipped with a swim-up bar and a fully equipped BBQ area. Additionally, there is an outdoor dining room, an outdoor stage and an outdoor cinema, providing a variety of options for entertainment. Two tennis courts add to the recreational amenities available on-site. Known for hosting raucous parties, Abramovich has welcomed renowned performers like Beyoncé and the Black Eyed Peas and for New Year's Eve celebrations. In 2010, a star-studded guest list including Orlando Bloom, Jay-Z, Kanye West and Lindsay Lohan attended one of Abramovich's lavish bashes and estate. Roman Abramovich's Tel Aviv Hotel, purchased for £17.1 million in 2015, is set to undergo a significant transformation. Originally a six-bedroom hotel, Abramovich intends to double its size and convert it into a massive 12-bed mansion. This decision is reportedly influenced by his issues. The hotel acquired from Jaron Versano, the husband of Wonder Woman star Gal Gadot, will see the addition of a new two-story wing, contributing 1,500 square meters to the, to the 19th century listed building. Plans also include the construction of an inner courtyard and an underground car parking. The complex, which currently features a reception lobby, 
two studio apartments and these separate villas will undergo extensive renovations to accommodate Abramovich's vision for a grand and spacious private residence. That's the end of today's video. Hit that like button and subscribe for more content from us. Thanks for watching.